Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Lead Code Data Science with MLU Prasad. A small intro about myself. Myself, MLU Prasad. I'm a mentor for data science and analytics at various ed tech companies. In addition to that, I also have a master degree in data science with a specialization in artificial intelligence and machine learning. And I am here to just share my expertise and uh, of Lead Code and other all the related to mediums of data science through YouTube. And this is my agenda through my YouTube channel. I want to teach the respect to all these mediums like SQL, lead code questions, GitHub, providing all the solutions for the questions, data structures and algorithms using Python, probability and statistics, Kaggle computations of various NLP and CV things, and a specialized computer vision module and specialized natural language modules, and also giving you precise interview preparation tips and strategies to crack any interview. This will be my agenda until the end of December 2024 and i have kept a goal of reaching one like data science aspirants by the end of next year currently have been reached only 0.6 percent i hope you can uh, subscribe it uh, subscribe to my channel and help me reach my goal and let's see the question which we are trying to solve it today it is sql lead code question question number 2837 type easy name of the question total travel distance okay and if you want to network with me or discuss anything regarding you can have a free session with me you can book a free session with topmate this is the link topmate.io slash mlu prasad you can book it for free and uh, if you are interested in any live trainings on sql or python i've been taking these classes for uh, a long time if you are interested you can just ping me via this phone number and we can discuss on the further details let's see the question which you are trying to solve it today okay they are given two tables users and rides and what they said is write a solution to calculate the distance traveled by each user if there is a user who hasn't completed any rides then their distance should be considered as zero output the user id name and total travel distance okay return that result table with user id in ascending order okay they have given two tables let's see it Let's see the first table. Okay, there are five users. Let's see the rights. This is the rights table. Let's see the sample output. Okay, let's come here. If you observe user id 17 has made only one ride if you see here this is the user id and this is the user id right so what is the total distance he has traveled only 160 okay got it user id 14 is there user id 14 has traveled two times the sum of distance is 161 plus 20, 25 which is 186 okay now there is this michael michael has traveled only i think uh, Four okay, he has traveled two times respectively. So fifty nine plus that three fifty seven again four sixteen. Okay, let's see for two. What is the distance traveled by two? Okay, two has traveled two times. One ninety seven plus one ninety six. The summation is again three ninety. Okay, ten has not traveled anything. There is no traveling. So whenever there is no traveling, they are replacing with the zero. So what is the connection they are doing? They were doing all the matching things and not matching things. Okay. If you see here, 17, 14, 4, 2, they are matching. 10, it is not matching. So what the joining they are doing is left join. And what they are doing, they are grouping by this user ID and they are calculating the sum of distance. And one more thing, whenever a matching is not taking place, means if you do a left join for 10, it is no matching here. For example, uh, what is that? Uh, yeah, 10. There is no matching here. So it will be replaced with null as we do left join. So whenever the null is there, you should replace with 0. That is the trick. Let's write the code here. Let's do it one by one. From okay, users table, let's call it A. Left join, right table, B. How should be connected? user.id 
comma equal to b dot user dot id so we are trying to join using user id okay let's see the table let's see all the rows okay now it has created if you see here 10 is having no thing so the distance is null so wherever the distance null is there what i should do i should replace with this one so let me keep it as comma let's say coalesce b dot distance if it is null keep it zero okay let's call it nd new distance Now you can see wherever a matching is there, the distance is coming. Wherever the distance is not there, means null. It is being replaced with zero. Now what we need to do? We just need to group a user ID and calculate the sum of ND. Okay, let me call this table as Prasad with Prasad as I am creating a CTE with Prasad. Now from this Prasad table, what I need to do? I need to group by each user ID. User ID. Okay, here you can see there are two user IDs. Okay, let then let me select only two things. A dot user ID group by user ID. And let me select and do the sum of ND. And the sum of ND there what what they're calling it as okay we need to calculate this thing also a dot user id comma a dot name let's group by user id comma name also and let's calculate name comma sum of nd as travel distance let's run it okay there is a mistake let's see what is the mistake okay they want to do what sorting of user id if you see here they given order by user id ascending let's keep order by user id ascending let's submit it there's still an error is being thrown let's see what is the issue 2 is coming michael 416 0 Uh, there's nothing mistake. Okay, travel distance is spelling mistake. Let me see this again. Okay, travel. Okay, there should not be any hyphen. So let me keep it in inverted commas. The column names are case sense too. You should give exactly what they are given. Okay. Okay. Our solution has been accepted by the platform. Thanks for watching. And just subscribe to my channel and watch all the videos. If you want any personal training on SQL or Python, you can reach out to me. This is my number. Thanks for watching. See you next next time.